What's contained in the Canadian Canoe Museum is a portrait of Canada in a set of artifacts that I've never seen anywhere else. Um, it speaks to um, geographic diversity, it speaks to cultural and ethnic diversity across the country, it speaks to human ingenuity, and as such it's a treasure, it's a national treasure. There really isn't another collection quite like this. Uh, our collection is over 600 watercraft and thousands of small artifacts. This is the only collection of its kind that really explores the, the canoe in, in basically all of its expressions around the world. We're not only highly functional and the most efficient way to travel along the waterways, they truly were works of art. No canoe, no exploration by the Europeans. No canoe, no Canadian economy. No canoe, no settlement. There's nothing more iconic in my mind that is Canadian than the canoe. From the beginning, not as an afterthought, the First Nations have been engaged in the process of what this winning design will look like. This design is going to conform to the already existing greenery and the trees and the, the magnificence of, of the, and the beauty in that area. It's just going to be a, such a brilliant way to highlight and profile such a building and, and its content. This building that they're talking about down on the, on the river now, it, it's, it's almost like the canoe is being placed in a architectural interpretation of water and flowing water. And now the Hennigan Peng Kearns Mancini team have brought forward this idea of undulating serpentine forms emerging from this powerful landscape. It spoke, I think, very appropriately to the culture of Peterborough. It speaks to the canoe, the simplicity and elegance of the canoe. It is incredibly respectful of the existing landscape where the building is sited in that the lift lock is, I think, greatly enhanced by this building and the viewpoint that it offers the visitor to the lift lock is truly amazing. So we've talked about creating naturalized Ontario ecosystems that one could find if exploring in a canoe and we're going to incorporate the plants that we once used to build canoes. It's a two acre rooftop. We're still exploring the, like, what's possible on that roof. The hope is that it will be a very community driven design process. People coming to tour our area and, and you know, it'll be a natural stopping place for them to, to learn more about us and, and First Nations, not only in Ontario, but across the land. There's not many attractions between Big Toronto and Parliament Hill. And if you were to have this kind of an attraction built there, I believe not only would the people of Ontario flock to it, but you would see Germans and Belgians and French and Russians. You would see people from all over the world coming to Peterborough to see that canoe and to be absolutely entranced by it the way we have been. To the question of where do we go? Uh, when we are visiting this part of Ontario, I think I think we found the answer. One of my dreams is to put this collection in a home that can take care of it. This new beautiful building, and as we situate that building in this um, network that reaches out across the nation, I don't think we're talking about museum anymore. I think we're talking about a leadership force in and and. It sounds so grand, but I honestly believe in my heart that that is, that is what we're doing, that it's possible, and that I want to be part of it.